Here's another condo resident who does not know how to merge onto this main road. Oh, there we go, finally. You stop, you put your little signal on. My signal's not on right now because I'm videotaping. And you go over, it's that simple. You don't have to sit there for two minutes. You can buy a Lexus, but the Lexus isn't gonna drive you. Check it out, no brake lights. You don't need brake lights in Florida on your Ford. Nope, look at this one, no third brake light. You don't need brake lights. You don't need nothing. You got the old text in over there. There's a whole big crowd, three three for one. Look at the gaps, the gaps, the gaps. Look at the gap between that guy and that guy, the gaps. See the same shit every day. It drives me crazy. Check out this, a little different. 85 degrees you're at, and it's not even nine o'clock. That's a little different. That's about one degree warmer than what it usually is because this place is getting hotter and hotter and hotter and as I said last week this place used to be 77 78 degrees at this time six years ago same month same time and you used to be able to make the turn very very freely and now you can't so things are changing that way too but they are not changing with the stoplight gap and the idiot people that just want to fall asleep by these lights I don't know what the fuck is wrong with these people really but it's another Monday Another month is almost gone. We're going coming into July. This is the same old stuff. And yet more and more and more and more and more and more people want to come here. I think the Northeast of America is going to once become a great place again when all these stupid people come out of the Northeast and choose this area or other areas of Florida as their permanent residence. I can't wait until that day because maybe the end that day I'll find myself back where I was, doing pretty okay. And how come the bald man, the old bald man always drives the convertible with the top down? Why is that? Do they want to show people the reflection of their heads and make other people go blind? Because they are the bald man in the convertible? I don't know why. See a lot of that here and they all drive like assholes when they're freaking driving the convertible. They go, ah, I'm driving a convertible, who gives a fuck, I can crash you. 99 degrees, let's talk to this junkyard guy. He's like, no, fuck that, don't go to the junkyard, you're crazy. Check that out, nothing, nothing. The relay is clicking. Why well, would this freaking thing work, man? Uh, I'm almost thinking that a resistor is bad on it, and I might put in my other one just to rule that out. I don't know. That is control panel's bad. Or you do hear the relay clicking, sometimes you hear relays clicking like I did with the headlight harness that time. Things still not flowing power. It clicks, not flowing power. So the click test is BS. Could be that as well. Maybe today when I get home I will have a relay to put in that circuit and figure out if that is the problem. I made a whole video about uh, miles, 164 in this thing, turn the other day, it was like blah 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 blah, 20 something thousand miles, blah 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 blah, I drove it all year and nothing else, blah blah blah. So then I was thinking, you know what, that's wrong, because this truck used to have 275, 60, 15 tires on it, those weird little Goodyear Eagle uh, with the yellow, uh, you know, the yellow letters. NASCAR tires, but these ones were earlier, they didn't say NASCAR, the later ones did. I had those, I'm gonna say when this truck had, we bought it with like 20, well my dad bought it 20,000 miles, I think it had around that, like 19, 20,000 miles, something like that. They paid like 10 grand for it back in 1996. But um, it, I don't know how long those tires were on there before, I would imagine they were at least on there for 10,000 miles. And then we probably had those tires on a truck, I would imagine, until it had like 60, 65, maybe 70,000 miles. And then we got these Michelins, the right size tires. Then I had some jackass decision and put 255, 60, 15s on it, which weren't as bit off as the 275s were. But, um, you know, that didn't last too long, maybe 20,000 miles. So I'm thinking, could be up to like 60, maybe 70,000 miles with the wrong size tires. So, I was trying to figure out how would I ever figure out and at least get a rough estimate on how many miles this vehicle has. Then, after watching Bronco Carl's 92 vi video, the 
other day about um, oversized tires and the percentage and whatnot. And I was thinking, hey, let me go research this. If the tire, you know, find the percentage, not, you know, not whatever, not anything else, just the percentage of difference between the original tire, which this truck's programmed for, via the ECM, you know, and the speed sensor in the back, which is electronic, so you can change it with the uh, ECM. So get the percentage of the stock tire and the difference between the different size tire, the 275, 60, the 255, 60, and get that percentage and times it per mile. Let's say the tires run for a thousand miles. A thousand miles, the percentage off on the 275s was like 10.7%. Uh, so I just rounded it at eh, 11%. So 11%, you know, uh, what the hell, what the hell did it say? Um, a thousand miles is gonna be 110 miles that's going to be extra on the odometer so you times that by whatever 20 you know 20 whatever, not 20 but maybe 20,000 miles you get your number and it's going to be in the thousands so that's more than 20,000 miles I said it's like close to like what I say like 60,000 or something maybe with the other tires 40 40 and 20 or maybe 50 and 20 70,000 but that's how you figure it out, and I figure out this truck could have about what the other the other percentage we're gonna say. I think it was like seven percent with the two fifty five sixty. If you're still following me, but probably has around like seventy five hundred miles less on it than it actually shows. So I could actually knock back my odometer, and there's you know there's no really shame in it. It's it's a close estimate. It's still probably whatever the number I'm coming up with is not what the actual miles are. Holy shit, it's like our old pickup. We got one just like that with the C20 black. I like that. Old oh, beat up. Going off the road. I smell it. But the, uh, maybe 70, whatever say, 70,000 something miles. I got distracted by Chevy trucks. But I think that's how you do it. If anyone else thinks I'm wrong in my thinking, I think that is correct. So that's my boring video driving around when it's 96 degrees outside or 99 or whatever. Uh, yeah, cigarette butts.